Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is kind of an interesting video. Uh, also, the lighting, I'm sorry it's terrible, but that's the only light I got in my room, so I turned on my lamp and tried shining it this way. Now all I have left is a shadow. Let's pretend that's not annoying. But anyway, today I am actually going to do something that was based off of another YouTuber and in one of her videos. This YouTuber was Mariah Elizabeth. Uh, yes, put party hats all over the screen, I don't know. But Mariah Elizabeth is a very nice YouTuber. I like this YouTuber, this YouTuber is amazing. But, um, she has, not but, what am I talking about? She's amazing. And in one of her videos of Are Things To Do When You're Bored, she made something of interesting that intrigued me, sparked my interest. So what I'm going to be doing is what she showed in the video. And in this video, she made, out of a tie-dye piece of clothing that she made, pants specifically, and made a cute, adorable bow out of it. And I loved it so, so much that I wanted to make my own YouTube video about following this YouTube video. So if you want to check out that YouTube video, I will, of course, put it in the description down below. But let's get on with this video. So, of course, I found some pants. And what she used was like sweatpants or they kind of looked like comfy pants, shorts, I don't know. But these, of course, are leggings and the material is very thin because I want a small, daintier bow besides a nice, full, lush bow. So I'm gonna just cut this up. That's right, I am cutting up these pants. Mostly because there is a hole on the knee. Uh, where is it? Kind of can't see it. But any clothing that has holes, my mom's immediately like, throw those out doesn't look nice so I'm like okay fine but instead of throwing these out you don't have to you can make them into a bow I don't know and since I have short hair I can't really do anything with my hair so I love putting like pins and stuff in my hair and I have this little flower that you can clip into your hair I really like doing stuff like this so it intrigued me and possibly I could put a hair clip into it and make it into a hair accessory so I just started uh, powering up the hot glue. Mm. That's hot, That um, it's hot. Uh, but um, I just powered it up and here, let me test if it's, okay, it's working. By that, I just squeeze out a little bit. Thankfully, there's a little plate that it comes with, so. I don't know why the cord isn't manageable. Oh well, now first we need to cut this up. Now, of course, I need fabric scissors because normal scissors would make the lines go. I don't know what that, that is. So I'm going to go get the fabric scissors and everything that I need, aka just fabric scissors. And I'll see ya. Whoa, careful, the camera. And I grabbed a few other things, specifically uh, my stand because I'm going to do the whole hand thing I do. And fabric scissors. They cut smoothly through fabric. Hot glue gun is ready, everything's ready. Now let's set up my whole hand situation. Now that we have our hand situation set up, that as I like to call it, uh, I don't know why I was pointing to my stand. So now that I have the fabric, and like I said before, this is extremely thin fabric. Um, and let's just slowly lay it out. Now you're gonna cut out like a rectangle almost. Uh, why am I showing the hot glue gun? Whatever, I'm weird that way. Still, you need to cut out a rectangle. You can use either the pant leg or I guess I'm just using the butt area. Yep, that's happening, whatever. So let's just slowly cut through this. I don't know why I keep showing you what I'm about to do on the screen, whatever. I'm using the squiggly lines as a reference of when to stop and when to start. Cause this is a very busy pattern. I don't know if that would help or, well in the end the bow does turn out very well. Oops, spoilers. Still, you could use a simpler design, like normal black leggings could work if you just want a normal black bow but anyone would be fine. 
Now there's a lot of elastic at the bottom, so we're gonna have to chop that off. Yep, let's just, oh, okay, so I already cut that off. Now we're going to fold it inside and you have to hot glue that down so that there's not rough lines. Am I gonna cut to that too? Oh, oh wow, look at that transition. And there's now a piece of cardboard underneath it. Where did that come from? No matter. Now that that is glued down, you want to fold the outsides into the middle. Uh, they should be straight. For me, for some reason, it's not that straight, but you gotta wanna glue down the ends. Why do I keep pointing to each side? Whatever. I mostly put down the piece of cardboard. Oh, that's the worst transition ever, whatever. And the main reason I put the piece of cardboard down is because I didn't want to burn my desk because it is new and I like it. Still, you're going to scrunch it together in like an accordion style and set that off to the side. That's, I was just showing you how it's supposed to look. You could also hot glue it to that, uh, to make it look like that. Also, at the end of this video, I did use up the rest of that fabric making more bows, so I didn't waste any of it. Now you're going to chop off a much smaller rectangle, very thin. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, it's a transition. Well, yeah, we're gonna go back to the cringy transitions. Still, you're gonna fold everything to the middle and hot glue it down like what we did with the um, the actual bow, but uh, not to the center. Now that that's glued down, yep, I'm just showing the camera that's fine, yep. You don't have to continue doing this. Why is there hot glue strands everywhere? I swear, whenever I use hot glue, they go, they go everywhere. Anyway, so you're going to wrap that around that and hot glue and cut off the excess. I just summed up what I'm about to be spending the next a couple, the next minute on. No matter. Do da -de, da do. This is a long process. Okay. Yep. Did you guys see that hot glue strand? They're everywhere. Whenever I do this. Oh yeah, once you push it together after putting the hot glue in it, some of the hot glue like seeps out the sides and then you can use that to your advantage by using it to hot glue the ribbon down. I don't know if that sentence just made sense. And then once all that has dried, you'll have this bow with a tail and you're gonna chop off the tail. Never want to hear that. Wow. Okay. Still, so now that that's done, you have a perfect bow. And of course some of the sides might be a little... Anyway is a beautiful bow. I love it. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Even the back doesn't look half bad. The back looks nice. It all looks nice. Now I know I was going to make this into a hair clip, but I haven't found any of my hair clips yet. And to make it into a hair clip, I had to glue the hair clip onto it. So that's on there. Now I'm able to stick it in my hair and oh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. And I still have actually a lot of fabric left of my pants, obviously, because I just made this tiny bow. I probably will make a couple of um, other bows and this is just a great hack if you have found a hole in your pants. Just simply, this is all the excess pieces I'll just throw them out anyway yeah uh, don't throw those pants out no 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 you can make a bow i'm sure there's a lot of other things that you could make with extra pair of pants i was gonna just use the pant legs so that i could possibly make shorts out of them because i have done that before but then i decided eh no, we'll go all out for this. And I think it's adorable, actually. i probably probably make like, be able to make like 15 of bows with that. Well, probably not 15, but uh, yeah, I highly recommend this hack. And yes, I did know that when she made the bow, uh, Mariah Elizabeth, I mean, it was not in a art things to do when you're bored video. It was in fixing things I ruined video. So sorry about that. I will put that video in the description down below in which this hack was there. In case my instructions were probably pretty vague. I think they were vague. I don't know. I haven't done the voiceover yet. But once... 
you have checked out that video and made a bow, please come back home and tell me how it went. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys will see me in my next video. Peace out, fam!